Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to put um, the drum machine SR202, which is a VSTI plugin for the Magix Music Maker 15. Um, first, what you've got to do is go onto the internet and visit any VSTI plugin site. I went to kvraudio.com. Download with the VSTR plugin to your computer. I downloaded it down to my desktop so it's easy to drag in. Right, first thing we do is open up the Magix Music Maker 15. <clears throat> the only trouble with the drum machine itself is it can only play um, mono files which I will show you how to do once I've done this um, now once you've opened up your music maker right, go to your synthesizer so if we go to the synthesizer which is here next to file manager right you've got your object synthesizers you need to go to your track synthesizers go to the add button open it up now from here you can you can drag synths your VSTI plugins into here or you can load them in now I'm going to actually drag them in so if I collapse the window take it down it still leaves your your file manager window still there right so here's my VSTI plugin which is the SR202 drag it over to here drag your file manager over right go to the add button then your VSTI plugin directory will open up now if you drag your SR202 drum machine directly into it let it go it will load in automatically once it's in there press OK and it will load into the actual file manager window there it is there as we can see just so you can see that there it is right now once we've got that loaded in I'll show you now if you open it up by double tapping on the left pad on your mouse that'll open your MIDI sequencer which is there at the top and just there which has just come up right go to your instrument window which is here open it up go down to instrument editor and it will bring up the actual drum machine here it is itself now um, what you have to do is you load in um, a file into each window so you've got one two three all the way up to 16 which is down here so let's go to the first one but first let me just clear this window so it's no right there we go no right all right go to number one go to your al which is load tap it and you'll be able to load in um, an instrument sound from wherever you've got your music files now I'll go to I have mine in my music file which is here so wherever you've got your music files open it up I've got hits and kicks here right let's put in say a kick bass right so I'll load in my first one which is there double tap it and it will load it in now if I switch some sound on now that file itself was a mono file if I can just show you that there we go if we turn the volume up a bit on the actual drum machine itself which is up here you'll be able to hear it a bit better now if you try and load in a file that is not mono it will say it's not mono as you can see there 
so you won't get no sound so the way to get round this is if you've got files that are stereo and you want to convert them to mono I'll show you how to do that now All right. keep the earth thingy let's just drag it down All Right. collapse music manager now what you need to convert them which I found is um, a program called Audacity Audio City and I've got it just up there on the left what you do you can get that from kvraudio.com or any of these VSTI plugin sites you can get them from most of them if you open it up Audio City right there it is now what you gotta do now is if you open your music files <clears throat> All right. I've already converted some of my stereos into mono but if we open up your stereo one so let's go to toms right they're all stereo files now what I do is you get your audio city right now drag whichever stereo file you want to into audio city itself and it'll open it up it'll open it up as a stereo and what you need to do is go up to this arrow up here left tap it open it up and then go down to split stereo track which is here split that and it will split it into a left and a right channel now you need to get one rid of one of these channels any one will do so let's get rid of the bottom one and you open it back up with the black arrow again take it down and where you see it says mono tap the mono and it has now turned it from a stereo into a mono file as you can hear it's still working just as good as it did in stereo right now what you do is you put that file into every I've already got a file open here which is mono files which is where my mono kits go now all you need to do now is go up to file on the top of your audio city and then export it as a WAV file but it still stays as a mono WAV file so export it to wherever you want to I'll export it to the desktop and that way I can just drag it into my music file once it's done now that should there it is that's put it onto my desktop and now drag that over to my file which is my mono files and there we have it now that will play onto your drum machine the SR202 just by dragging it onto it or loading it on so if I open music maker again get the drum machine itself there it is now go down to the load button again press that and then go to where you go to where you loaded your mono file into your folder which I did into my monos open up my monos and there it is so I double click that and there we go it's into the drum machine once it's in the drum machine there's quite a few things you can do to it with the filter and the amp and the volume and not a lot you can do to it but it it helps as a drum machine it's just one of many you can get for the Magix Music Maker now um, once you've got it up onto your drum machine you then go on to your MIDI and find out where it is. Now, from right, that should be around by the C1. There it is. Once you've got it in, you can draw it in, and if you know how to use MIDI, then you're all right. Right, and you can do that with virtually any WAV file as long as it's stereo and you convert it into mono. You can use it on the drum machine itself. There is quite a few other drum machines out there and I'll show you that on the